This is the Music Therapy Chronicles podcast interview with Esther Thane. My relaxations actually were refined after hundreds and hundreds of trials with kiddos in groups in the public school system. So I was actually, and you know, a lot of people thought I was crazy at the beginning. They're like, how are you doing relaxations with kids at school? And actually, you know, being successful in it. You're listening to the Music Therapy Chronicles, a podcast about music therapy from a variety of perspectives. Our ambition is to inspire and connect listeners through meaningful conversations, just like a music therapy conference you can listen to anywhere. My name is Trisha Kayati, and I am a board-certified music therapist from the New England region. If you like what you hear, join our group on Facebook and share your own insights and thoughts about the episodes. You can also connect with us on social media and online at Music Therapy Chronicles. Welcome back to the Music Therapy Chronicles podcast. Thank you so much for clicking on this episode today to hear part two of my conversation with Esther, where we dive into her relaxations that are available on her website, which is, of course, linked down below, as well as some other goodies and, uh, of course, our rapid fire that uh, wrapped up this conversation. I hope you're enjoying the show, and if you are, please consider leaving us a rating and review. Those really help the podcast be more visible so more people can find this content um, that are looking for it. As I've mentioned on several episodes uh, most recently, a lot of interns are getting hours for listening to the show. So the more people who can find um, music therapy podcasts and can benefit from them, the better. So please, please help, uh, help us and help them find the show. You can also support us by following us online and on social media at Music Therapy Chronicles. And of course, don't miss out on our newsletter and uh, you'll get a self-care episode for um, joining the newsletter as well as a downloadable worksheet to work self-care into your daily practice. Um, Also, if you want to get CMTEs for listening to the show, you can check out our pod courses over at mtpodcastcollective.com. That's uh, the Music Therapy Podcast Collective. There's lots of awesome pod courses up there. We currently have two listed from Music Therapy Chronicles, but there are seven pod courses available in total, each pre-approved for five CMTE credits. So definitely check those out if you're into listening to podcasts and want to earn some CNTEs for the time you spend listening. All right, let's get into this episode with Esther. Do you have time to touch on your relaxation stuff before we move into the rapid fire? Sure. Um, so my relaxation is also actually, you know, as I mentioned before, it's published in, in voice work and music therapy. If you want to actually read up on the theoretical mm-hmm. of it, it's, um, I think the first or second chapter within that book. Uh, but it's also what I did was, is I kind of did a whole follow through and I generated audio recordings of it. And they're also included within the MITM curriculum as well. Um, so depending on if you're if the child that you're working with is really young or they have a low um, attention span there's actually four versions of the relaxation there's a five minute version that could even just be used for transitioning you know we know that autistic individuals can sometimes struggle with transitioning from one activity to another that can create a lot of anxiety mm. uh, so being able to incorporate, the relaxation and just put it on their earbuds and say, okay, we're going to listen to this while we're in the car driving from one therapy to another therapy, for instance, Um, or just to kind of bring them down and help them self-regulate. There's a 10 minute version. There's a 20 minute version that includes a wake up section. You know, my, my relaxations actually 
were refined after hundreds and hundreds of trials with kiddos in groups in the public school system. So I was actually, and you know, a lot of people thought I was crazy at the beginning. They're like, how are you doing relaxations with kids at school mm. and actually, you know, being successful in it? So I would bring in pillows and blankets. Uh, okay. This was like, pre-COVID, but <laughs> I would go to like thrift stores and buy tons of pillows and blankets. And um, I would go into the gym uh, before the sessions and drag all of these mats from the gymnasium of the school into my room. And I'd close all the curtains and turn off the lights. And I'd put the piano, the analog piano, which I'm a firm believer in using, especially in a relaxation, because you've got these long resonating chords that don't just die out after, you know, a few seconds on an electric keyboard. And I put it in the middle of the classroom and I'd have seven kids all lying down on the floor with their aids. So with, you know, their, I'm not sure we call them in Canada, SEA, special education aids. I know, I think they're called something different. Paris, Paris in the yeah. States, Paris. And it was an opportunity for them to bond with their paras in a different way, lying on the floor. The para was not the fa facilitator mm -hmm. in this scenario, right? I was the facilitator. So they could lie down with their child, with their student. And I'd have seven kids and seven paras all lying down. And I would um, deliver the relaxation live. Yeah. And um, so kind of all the hit and misses, everything that worked, everything that didn't work was how I refined this relaxation. It's called Rooted in Music. Um, and it's also available on on my website just for purchase separately as a package, all four uh, versions of the relaxation. If you're not interested in looking at the whole MITM curriculum, you can also just um purchase the the rooted in music relaxation for i think 1999 or something like that and uh and so after doing this for i think gosh five to seven years within the school district that's how long it took me to refine the process um re really what's very important within the relaxation is the fact that all the directives are vocally sung hmm. so i have a piano accompaniment and then I'm singing the directives. So all the tweaking of those directives, um, the tweaking of the music, doing lots of research on what frequencies worked, what tempo markings work, you know, what is the optimal pacing mm -hmm. for receptive music therapy um, service? You know, I read a lot of Tony Wigram stuff, you know, on receptive music therapy uh, to be informed on how to create this relaxation. Uh, so that became, like I said, a four version um, audio file. Um, that's also embedded in MITM, and you can also purchase the MP3 files um, and download them uh, individually as well. Cool. I think that um, more and more professions are moving towards a mindfulness, relaxation, meditative type model. So it's awesome that you have, again, synthesized your years of experience into something that uh, other people can take, adapt, learn from, um, because kind of like you said, we, we don't all have to start from scratch. We don't all have to do the same trial and error. You know, we can, yeah. we can do it together. <laughs> that's so, right. Yeah. We need to help each other. Right. Yeah. And, and, you know, that's why we have continuing education, yeah. you know, credit workshops and in services, you know, if somebody has had incredible insight personally or professionally with trauma to be able to learn from each other on that topic. You know, I think, that's what's lovely about our music therapy community is it's still relatively small globally mm -hmm. and you know whatever we can do to help each other is a good thing totally awesome is there anything else you want to touch on before we move into the rapid fire um just uh, maybe a couple of uh resource websites Love for that. anybody who's interested uh so if you're interested in the rooted in music relaxation package you can go to our company website um and it's one of the landing pages so uh it's www.etmusictherapy.com forward slash rooted dash in dash music. 
So that's where you can go um, if you're interested in just purchasing or reading up on, on that. And of course, if you want to read more about it, the voice work in music therapy textbook is also available on Amazon. And there's, oh gosh, I think 16 or 17 different international music therapists that have written chapters on a variety of very, very interesting topics. So, you know, again, would love to promote all of my fellow music therapists out there. It's a fantastic book to read if you're ever interested in learning how you can use the voice Mm -hmm. um, in primary music therapy among, you know, a variety, a whole plethora of different populations and age groups. And then the other website I wanted to just recommend is if you are interested in the Meet in the Music curriculum, you can uh, book a demo with me at any time where I can screen share and walk you through what these programs look like on the screen, um, different interventions and the goal bank, etc. And for that, you can go to www.mundopato. That's M-U-N-D-O-P-A-T-O dot com forward slash M-I-T-M. Cool. I'll have that, uh, all those things linked as well as some of the other stuff you mentioned. Great. Awesome. All right. Our first rapid fire question is coffee or tea? Neither. Good for you. (laughs) I'm 48 years old and I've never been into coffee or tea. I just, I don't know. People always just say, how do you get up in the morning? And I say, I just turn my alarm off and I get up out of bed. (laughs) Good for you. That takes, that takes a lot of effort. (laughs) So I guess maybe that's the answer to this next one. Early bird or night owl? (gasps) Night owl. Really? And you can still get out of bed really early. Well, you know, I'm, you know, Trisha, I'm trying to lead a more balanced life. I actually about six months ago had surprise quadruple bypass heart surgery. And since that time, I'm trying not to be a night owl. I'm trying to get to bed at a earlier time and get more sleep. So it's been a great lesson in balance. So if you would have asked me that, I'm still, I still love to be a night owl. I'm not a morning person, uh, but I'm trying my best to, to find more balance in my life now. Well, I part of the reason I love asking that question is because I think it's important to destigmatize, you know, which is, quote, like, better, you know, because, well, you like, know, it depends. exactly, you know, as long as you are living your best life yeah. and you feel like you're contributing and having a great day, then it doesn't matter if it's happening early in the morning or at two in the morning late at night. Right. I mean, yeah. as musicians, we're all creative. So I, I presume a lot of people would say they're night owls more than than morning people. And I've always respected morning people. I've never been one of them, even though I have to be up often early in the morning. Um great respect for them (laughs) yeah all right the next question is something you'd tell your younger self hmm this is a recent lesson again from my my recent recent uh health issues just because you love doing what you do doesn't rationalize not having enough balance in your life Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's a big one that's a big one for me I wish I would have learned that at a much earlier age you know I think it's easy to say oh but I it's not stress if I love what I do and if I love what I do I can do it for 14 hours a day yeah. no balance is important yeah I can feel all the listeners hearing that and needing to hear it yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah. Your music therapy elevator speech. Oh. Music is magical. It is inherent in all of us. I'm going to steal from Nordoff Robbins here, but everybody has a music child within them. Mm. And you can tap into your music child at any point in your life. And music is the way to look and 
help us out in so many aspects of our life. We just have to be open to it. Love that. Your favorite self-care practice. My fail. Oh, I, gosh, I have so many. Can be more than Some one. are more indulgent than others. My favorite, <laughs> honestly, getting a massage. Good for you. Yeah. Yeah. And I miss, miss that more than anything right now. Um, I know it's not music therapy related. You know, a lot of people have got self-care music therapy strategies, but it's one I really, really miss right now because I still can't lie on my stomach because mm. of the incision on my chest. So I can't go and have massages so I dearly miss them and uh, that was just that you know 50 minutes out of the day where you could just lie there and let somebody else make you feel good yeah yeah wow I hope soon get to soon. Do that I soon I hope to I hope to reinstate my massages <laughs> yeah yeah I hope for you too something that's currently adding value to your life Oh, absolutely networking with music therapists across the world. Yeah. I love meeting every new music therapist I meet just brings me something special and unique that I didn't have before meeting them. So absolutely. And I don't like that word networking either. It's more just like connecting, yeah. connecting with music therapists out there. Yeah. I, I also networking, um, since I have the show and I do meet so many people, you know, I've, I've come to terms with the word more about like, yes, I'm networking with lots of people, but you know, I'm not, it's not necessarily an exchange of favors. It is in a way like we've had this, this interaction, like there's an energetic exchange, but um, yeah, the word networking, we can, we can destigmatize for sure. <laughs> yes. I'm with you there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Love that. Uh, your favorite intervention or song to use in a session. Mm. I know it's tough because you, you have a list of <laughs> so many that are on in your curriculum. I have a specific intervention that just, I know it's a favorite of, of my staff and a lot of the music therapy um, agencies that subscribe to the curriculum have given me feedback about this. Uh, so I would say um, Kabasa Talk and it's using the Kabasa not a kielbasa, but the kabasa, <laughs> our music therapy instrument, um, to create deep pressure and elicit vocal responses in clients. It mm. it just works like magic every time, and uh, it's it's a real it's just a real fun intervention. Cool, how cool! The last question is: Where can the listeners find you and connect with you? They can connect with me on Facebook. Uh, Esther Thane is my personal profile. We have a company page. We have tons of different videos and, you know, you can really get lost in a lot of uh, real concrete examples from our staff. Uh, my staff are just beautiful human beings and they've got lots of videos and footage also on our uh, company page on Facebook, so ET Music Therapy, uh, and on Instagram, um, our company page, ET Music Therapy. And of course, if anybody's just interested in connecting with me on a personal basis, I would be more than happy to get a, an email from you, a personal email from you. So you can always reach me personally at ETE Thane, which is T-H-A-N-E, at gmail.com cool i will and you can go to my website too our, our company website etmusictherapy.com yeah awesome i will have all of that linked so so the listeners can find your resources and connect with you and and network in a positive way great awesome. great happy would be happy to to hear from any any one of you out there Thank you so much for taking the time to uh, to do all this work, but also taking the time to come on the show and, and tell us about it and speak with me today. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Tricia. And thank you for all that you're doing for the music therapy community and for creating this podcast. It's a, it's a beautiful endeavor and uh, I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend. You too. Same to you. I 
I hope you enjoyed this conversation. It's so wonderful to hear seasoned professionals being able to synthesize and uh, put their work together in a way that's so accessible for um, for everyone. You know, books are great, writing chapters and, and doing research and all of that is great, but this is super tangible and um, Esther's curriculum and relaxations are really accessible. Um, obviously, there's lots of experience behind behind them and how she created them so please check them out there everything is linked in the show notes thank you so much for listening to the show and supporting us each week if you want to stay more up to date you can find us on social media at music therapy chronicles and um, get on our newsletter at music therapy chronicles.com don't forget to subscribe to the show so you never miss an episode and if you or someone you know is interested in being on the show, please let me know by sending an email to hello at musictherapychronicles.com. I'll end today's episode with a little mantra for relaxation. I am letting go of today's stress. I am calm and centered. Mm-hmm.